And that's what I'm after there. You gotta get this sensor out and it's gonna need some type of crow's foot wrench is what it looks like. Uh, I don't have any and I do have a 17 millimeter which is what it happens to be. Job smart wrench that was free to me. So this guy looks like he wants to die for a cause and uh, I'm gonna be making this into some type of little crow foot wrench. So uh, it's gonna be a flare wrench I could run out to Vance Auto and grab a set of crowfoot wrenches, but they're not flare. And I just feel like the flare is uh, kind of might be necessary on this sensor. It's in the exhaust manifold, so likely it's not going to want to come out. And yes, I know this is going to be hard material. foot crescent wrench here sacrificing this socket too which is gonna get cut way down might as well leave uh, the handle here to weld on to for now so I've kind of ground that to fit let's glue those two together cut off the socket and I should have my crow foot Last thing I have left to do on this guy is just going to be to cut the rest of the socket off. I don't need the socket part, I need the drive part. So I will cut this as close to the weld as I can, and I'll have my tool. Go, finish tool. And that's what I'm after there. Very difficult to get to. I'm laying on my back underneath the car. This is behind the engine. Just get a bit of room around it. This is no great way to get my arm in there. The tool fit into the spot and it served its intended purpose for installation. While it didn't work to remove the sensor, I was able to destroy the existing sensor to be able to use a socket and get it out. I apologize I was unable to film all that exciting process as I laid underneath the car to do this job. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed a little shop fabrication on this one.